Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to compare two mega cap tech stocks and answer which one is the better stock to buy right now. Is it Apple stock or is it Microsoft stock? You're going to get the answer by the end of this video. But first I'm going to compare the two most recent quarterly prospects for those two companies. I'm going to look at their long term operating profit margin. And finally I'm going to compare their valuations to answer the question which stock is the better buy. So let's get started by looking at Apple. Apple's latest quarterly results revenue decreased to 94.8 billion down from 97.3 billion year over year still Apple was able to keep earnings per share flat the bulk of the decrease in revenue was caused by Mac computer sales crashing to 7.2 billion down from 10.4 billion falling computer sales is something that both of these companies have in common which you'll see later on I'll share that with you stay tuned so consumer demand weakened in the Americas with revenue in the region falling to 37.8 billion down from 40.9 billion of course the big news out of Apple was the announcement of the Apple Vision Pro and AR VR headset that's going to run customers $3,500 remains to be seen how popular how popular how much demand there is for that product early estimates suggest that Apple's going to have 700 Apple's going to try to ship 750,000 units of that device in the first year so let's let's uh, hold our breath to see what happens with that device going into Microsoft Microsoft's revenue increased by 7% to 52 Point nine billion in the quarter which ended on March 31st that's its most recent update earnings per share increased by 10% to $2.45 the biggest headwind for Microsoft was also Windows OEM sales right this is sales that Microsoft gets by putting Windows operating system into computers computer manufacturers pay Microsoft for this privilege and since computer sales crashed in the first quarter of this year 30% down from year over year and that's likely to remain down year over year significantly for the rest of 2023 probably for the first half of 2024 as well however however I will say that starting the middle of 2024 and 2025 computer sales are likely to rebound significantly why do I say that well because remember in 2020 when the pandemic hit most people were sent home for work, for learning, for entertainment. And so that created a surge in computer sales in 2020 and in 2021. But computers are long lasting goods. They last anywhere from four to six years, depending on your use cases. So if you bought a computer in 2020, you're probably not going to buy one again until 2024 and 2025. But so that created a gap this year, 2023 and 2022 sales were not very good, but it's likely to rebound in 2024 as the people who bought computers in 2020 start to need upgrades. And that upgrade cycle is going to be arguably the biggest in history because there was no boom in con computer sales the way there was in 2020 and 2021 at least that hasn't been the case for a long long time so Microsoft stands to benefit from that also Apple stands to benefit from that starting in I would say mid 2024 and 2025 is likely to be a very good year for computer sales now let's look at longer term their operating profit margin Apple and Microsoft Microsoft with a clear advantage here operating profit margin trailing 12 months of 41 percent in its most recent quarterly update meanwhile apple at 29.16 percent don't be mistaken these are both excellent operating profit margins but microsoft is just that much better finally let's look at the valuation and i chose to use the forward price to earnings ratio for these two stocks and microsoft stock is slightly more expensive than apple at a forward PE of 29.6 compared to Apple at a forward PE of 27.54. Each of these stocks have gotten a lot more expensive since January to start the year. So if you're able to get these stocks at the lows, you will have gained a huge benefit. Now, if you watched my videos in January, I did recommend Apple and Microsoft stock as a buy for 2023. But today, right now, if you had to pick between 
Apple or Microsoft, or if I had to pick between Apple stock and Microsoft stock, I would be choosing Microsoft stock today. All right, so that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.